guys. Um, I'm having a terrible hair day, so that's why I'm wearing this beanie that does not match my outfit whatsoever. So we're just gonna ignore that and get on with what this video is about. So I got a bunch of Barnes & Noble gift cards for my birthday, for Christmas, and today I spent all of them. <laughs> so I wanted to do a little, I guess, haul of all of the books I got today because I think they're really interesting and it may spark some interest in some of my book lovers out there to pick up a copy. So. And yeah, let, let's just get started. So we got two bags worth of things here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> so we'll start with the first bag here. So they had a section with really cheap, like, um, famous books, I guess is the right word to put it. A lot of um, classics, a lot of classic titles. And I saw a bunch of them, and there's so many I have not read yet, and I want to read. So I picked up quite a few copies, but um, I'll just kind of go in order. So the first one I grabbed was Jane Eyrie. I hope I pronounced that right. That shows how little I know about classic books. But I got this book because I've heard a lot about it, and even if it's not good, it's still a classic, and I love to read it to say that I did. Next to that, I also got Pride and Prejudice, which is also a classic, and I have not read it, so... I feel like it's only right as a writer to read Pride and Prejudice. Oh no, one of my pages is all crinkled up. I didn't even notice that. Can you tell I'm a book lover? <laughs> oh my god, my page! And then I also got Wuthering Heights because it's also a classic and um, I watched that movie after and the main character was really into this book and it made me curious as to why. So um, I've been wanting to get this book and I finally did. Oh, um, so in that same like little section I found this collection of poems of, by Emily Dickinson. I really love poetry and I feel like Emma, eh, Emily Dickinson is a classic poet and um, I've read some of her things and it's just really, really beautiful and I admire it a lot. So I saw this and you know, I was like, you know what, I, I need that. I, I need to add this to my poetry collection because I got a poetry collection going. And so, okay, so the next thing I got, um, I've been getting into like crystals and the spirituality things, not necessarily like witchcraft and that kind of realm of things, even though my friends are kind of a part of that. I've just been super interested in like crystals and you know those those kinds of things and I have a bunch of crystals and I always like forget what they're called or I never remember like the names and so I got this little um like crystal guide it's like a little handbook and it has like pictures of like the crystals in there and I feel like this will come <laughs> very much in handy for when I start putting together more of my crystals you know growing my collection so I wanted to get something that kind of had descriptions of each of these things so if I forget like oh I, for I forgot what this amethyst is good for or you know yada yada <laughs> I'm like out of breath dear god I need to work out but yeah so I wanted to get a little handbook for myself so that I know what I'm buying <laughs> as you can tell um, I'm wearing crystals right now on my neck <laughs> so that was bag number one bag number two I think I only have two books in here but um okay <laughs> As you can tell from the plants right here in the frame, I have a lot of plants and it's become a problem <laughs> and I feel like my plant family has continuously been growing and I came across this book and you know how I mentioned I was getting into like crystals and the spirituality realm of things. Um, well, I found this book and it's a cosmic botany, bot botany? But it's basically about plants and crystals and like which plants go good with good, which crystals and the kind of just organizing them like in this picture you can see there's some crystals in the pot with the plants little succulents it looks like so i thought that was really cool because i have all these plants and then i have a bunch of crystals and i thought it would be so cool if i can just put crystals in some of my plant pots and it's so cute like little drawings are adorable it's perfect for me this is all my personality right here so I, I cannot wait to do this last but not least we got the big boy here i haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet as you guys know from what i just previously talked about with the emily dickinson poems i like poetry and i like more modern poetry than i do old poetry it's kind of hard to understand it and really delve into it sometimes but um, I've always been a really big fan of Edgar Allan Poe. I happen to find this Edgar Allan Poe book. Like, look how beautiful this is. It's an exclusive edition, and it was only 24 bucks, which is cheap. <laughs> or 25 sorry. Which is awfully cheap for a book this big at Barnes & Noble. This would probably be like 40 bucks. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It's, ah, uh, it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And that was the last book of my little haul here. And I'm really excited. I don't even know where I'm going to put 
my books because I have no room on my desk. Like, I'll show you, like, <laughs> that's, like, the first few shelves. And then we have that. Let's go this way. We have that shelf and that shelf and Eeyore <laughs> and down there. I'm going to have to, like, clear room down there or something. I don't know, but I have, like, no room anymore. No, I don't like that either. <laughs> We're going to end the video here. Um, thank you guys for hanging with me and doing this little book haul. Um, I'm very excited to add these to my collection and eventually read them. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you all on the next train.